Today we are going to compare Gmail and Apple Mail. I think to start off we should start with the obvious. I use Android. I've always used Android and PC and therefore I do not have Apple Mail. Unless you are invested in the Apple ecosystem, you likely have never thought, hmm, Apple Mail. Though I have always seen Apple's whole, this only works for our user's mentality to be a great benefit in terms of sales and making all their products work seamlessly together. Most of the time, an app releases for iOS and Android. Either the iOS version will have some feature the Android doesn't have or generally receive updates faster. So the limitation of iOS to iPhones is great in terms of the topic at hand though. Not so much. Whether you hate or love Gmail, it is always mentioned when considering the top email services. Gmail is compatible with Android, iOS, PC and Mac. It's also accessible via web browser. Not to mention it has real-time synchronization across all these various devices. So that is already a huge win. Now, an important distinction to make here, and it's a mistake that I've made in previous videos, is interchanging the terms email provider and email client. See, Apple Mail is an email client in the fact that it is simply the app that I would use to access my mails. With Apple Mail, I could integrate Outlook and Gmail into Apple Mail. They would, however, have the Apple Mail user interface and functionality as that is the client. I'd essentially be accessing the mails in my Gmail account via Apple Mail. However, Gmail as an actual app or program does function as an email client. However, it is also the actual email provider or service. They are the ones responsible for doing the background work of sending and receiving mail. The email services rules will always take priority over the email client. Therefore, some features are only available via the Gmail client and can't be done via Apple Mail. Okay, so now that we understand the difference, we can actually talk about what I like about Apple Mail. And I mentioned it in passing earlier, it is that I can have all my emails, regardless of what email service it is, all funneled into one application. Instead of having the Outlook app, the Gmail app, the Yahoo app, I can just have Apple Mail. How convenient. Something I sort of have mixed feelings about is the Apple Mail user interface. It really reminds me of the SMS apps that came with every phone. Very plain and simple, which is not a bad thing if you like the minimalist look. However, going from something like Gmail to this feels very stripped down. Gmail is very much focused on functioning with other Google services like calendars, contacts, Google Meet, and so forth. I would, however, just use the Google Web version of Gmail if you want to go the Gmail route on your iPhone. All your emails are saved on the cloud instead of locally, so you can store years and years worth of data alongside having all the Gmail AI features. The Gmail app, however, doesn't feel like the iOS version of Gmail. Rather, it feels like the Android version of Gmail, just directly ported to iOS. It doesn't follow Apple design logic in terms of swipes and shortcuts. It's very out of place, if that makes any sense. It just wasn't optimal on my short time testing it. So like I said, if you're an iPhone user, you can use the website version if you insist on using Gmail. However, if you don't mind losing out on the Google features like inbox sorting, then just use the built-in mail app. If you have an Android phone, then well, you don't have a choice between the two. Thanks for watching, guys. 
Let us know what you prefer to use in the comment section below and don't forget to give us a like and hit subscribe and have a beautiful day.